Hello my lovely people, you are welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and according to the time you are seeing this video. How are you doing? I hope you are good, my people. Oh, they said allegedly that KBAC is about to divorce um, Olori Ashley. Olori Ashley has proven that she is not a good wife and she can never be a good wife. Yes, so she has not been a good wife to KBAC and I don't think she will be. Because... There's no how a wife will keep planning against her own husband, like her own husband. You you bring out time, leave everything you are doing in UK. Forget about your business. You just come down to plan against your your husband, all because of what? He doesn't want her to. He doesn't want him to bring back his lovely wife and the child. And son, not even a child. So, my correct people, what we heard allegedly was that there is this rumor going on on social media that uh, KBAC collected um, 180 something thousand dollars from a lady. Hmm, my people collected for 180 something thousand dollars from a lady and promised the lady that he is going to marry the lady. That is the rumor going on. I'm making on on the social media. So, so it happened that the lady, as we heard allegedly, was like, eh, KBC is going to marry her. You know, majority of them want KBC to marry them. Not even knowing what KBC and the the rest of his wife are passing through in that same like in that same palace. They don't know how KBC have been coping with this woman. In short, the question is this. KBAC marrying all of these women, how are they going to get satisfaction? That is why you will see people. Hmm. I don't want to go there before somebody will say I don't talk. That is why you see somebody go and get pregnant and they, even if you're not pregnant, you go and get a child and they accuse KBAC of being the father. Now, for you to prove the evidence of the pregnancy, and the baby and the paternity of the babies you cannot even do it it's because of this thing that they are planning all of this they are planning that is the reason why okay now they said that the lady that KBAC collected honor it's something thousand dollars and promised marriage have started preparing for the marriage already they said that the lady used about three hundred and something thousand to prepare three hundred and thousand something thousand dollars to prepare for the marriage Unfortunately, KBAC now disappointed her. Hmm. Her people. KBAC now disappointed her, as we heard though. And she started making trouble. Now, the, post, the, the thing is that this thing got to KBAC that the, 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 the lady you collected $180,000 and promised marriage is here to fight you. And why did you do, prom do her promise and fail? And KBC was like, which what is what is $180,000? dollars uh, Who did he collect $180,000? Like how? When? How did it happen? When did it happen? You know, that kind of a thing. You're not sure of the person that that said this in, is not sure of what he said. And you you want to get yourself free from it. KBC was surprised. They said that KBC started making investigation. To know exactly who planned this because this is a, re a plan deal. Plan. Now, people know. They said that uh, the first one, there was a time we also heard that somebody, someone called Kunomi on phone. One lady like that called Kunomi on phone. And was asking Kunomi, eh, I hope you don't mind welcoming her uh, to the palace that KBAC promised her to marry her and. Uh, in short, their, their marriage is coming up very, very soon. That like she is from U, uh, United States. United States of America. It's, that lady is from UK. The lady that she... In short, uh, is a friend of Ashley. That Ashley collected the friend's number. And called KBAC. Uh, and called Queen Naomi. Just to know if Queen Naomi will be, will be like, Hey, I'm not coming back to this man again. This man is doing too much. When they now check it and say that the, 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 the lady was saying that she's from US, USA, why did contact 
Thank God that if everything is even made easy, computer have made this very very easy. If you see Nigerian number, you believe you know that this is Nigerian number. Uh -huh. If not, it will at least have two, three, four. You see uh, American number, you see, you know that this is a number, uh, American number. You see you, any number that any even Zimbabwe, you will know that. I be Zimbabwe. <laughs> I cannot bite my tongue. You know that this is their number. This is their contact, contact number. So they said that actually planned that one with that lady then. As if it doesn't work. Because that, that one doesn't work out for her. That time we heard that uh, the lady was saying that she, she did not make any call. Because Kabi said that I called the lady. The number that Kunemi gave to her. Gave to him. The lady said that no, he did not make any call. When they now found out that it was Olori Ashley. Who is this her friend's number to call cab to talk to call Queen Naomi? After making the call, she deleted the number that she called. And the Kabi uh, Queen Naomi now uses the number that called her back to call back and give to Kabi. So Kabi said, Now, uh, ask what, what, what is happening. And they said that the lady, the particular lady, they called so that she did not have anything, any business with Kabi. SU. Okay, now. This particular one of accusation of collecting one hundred eighty something thousand dollars from a lady and promised her marriage, is also coming from the same Ashley. What have she stand to gain to know to accuse KBAC and to bring? I don't know. I don't just know. What is her problem? Okay, KBAC have like, oh, you have the you did the first one. I just did a see, but I don't know about it. You did the first one. I just feel as if I just closed my eyes one kind and did not see, I did not see it, Abby. You continue with this one again. Olori Ashley, I can see that our marriage is no longer working. Yes, our marriage is no longer working. There's no way it will even work because I cannot see the reason why a wife will, will bring her time, make out her time to just to come and destroy her husband's happiness. What are they planning? Their plans is so that Kunomi will not come back to the palace. I don't know whether Kunomi have heard of this particular $180,000 of a thing. Because the thing is making seriously on social media. Okay, now someone was someone posted uh, in Instagram and said that, hey, you don't even know that Kabi AC is now a Yahoo boy, a Yahoo man. That he collects $180,000 from a lady and promised that lady marriage and now he has failed. Is that how he's, the, he's going to be the kind of king that he is? Is he the kind of king that he, that he wants to be with that? Like, you know, people will start saying a lot of things. You know, bloggers now, those of them that know the, 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 the truth, they will, they will even want to turn it upside down. Even though that doesn't know what is happening, they will still want to say something. Yes. Okay, KBS is now like... Since she's no longer interested in their marriage, is it not better that Ashley start packing? At least she have her daughter to go back to her ex-husband. So we heard allegedly that KBAC is planning on how to divorce Olori Ashley this time around. Because this time around, they are, anyhow you do it, you receive it anyhow. That is where KBAC is there now. Anyway, share my people, don't forget that all of this is our alleged information. That is what we heard though. I don't know how true it is. Thank you. I love you guys. Bye.